welcome to the DIY craft. So today we are going to be turning recycled bottles into tiki torches. So I have here a couple of kind of intricate tools that you're going to need in order to make this work properly. Um, so first and foremost, if you go to the store to get tiki torches, you can get them on the stakes that you put in the yard. Um, they're approximately six dollars. Comes with the stakes, comes with the wick, comes with the cool little cap. Um, doesn't come with the oil. So if you buy like ten stakes and the oil, you're looking at like eighty dollars, give or take. So I have purchased just enough to make five tiki torches out of recycled bottles. And you can use any bottle you want. Um, or a glass jar even. You can even use a mason jar. But I'm basically going to show you the semantics behind it all, if you will. So if you're using a glass bottle that has a paper top, such as a wine bottle, most wine bottles are about a half an inch in diameter here. Um, most liquor bottles are almost the same, that half an inch of diameter. So I've gone ahead and purchased this which is a reduced coupling. And basically what it is, so first off, I'll show you guys what it is. Reduced coupling, I'm going from half inch to three eighths. Let me open it up so you guys can see it. So the reduced coupling looks like this. It's the half an inch on one end and three eighths on the other. So it goes from half to three eighths. Your bottle or most bottles are about a half an inch wide and majority of the wicks are 3 8 inch wide. So this is the first step that you're gonna need. Again, let me show you. And then the second thing you're gonna need, and this is completely optional, is a cap for that half inch um, coupling. So in theory, come back to my seat over here. In theory, you'll have the half inch coupling with the 3 8 on top and you'll have the cap, and the cap is what you would use to put the um, fire out. So, just like this. So again, you want a half inch coupling that goes to a tapered 3 8 um, like this, and then you want that half inch cap. The half inch cap is completely optional. Um, you can always just blow out your wick, but the beauty of the half inch cap is if it rains, you don't have to worry about your wick getting soaked or your fuel getting water in it. So that's good to know. So in addition to those two items, you need some kind of recycled bottle. I have here a, uh, a recycled wine bottle that I really just like the design on. Um, and it's just really pretty. So sometimes you find really gorgeous bottles and you're like, I don't want to throw that away because it looks so pretty. So this is one of those options. Um, don't drink based on the judge of the, the bottle, but you know, just throwing it out there. So the other thing you're going to need is thread seal tape. Comes in a little container like this. Um, you can find it in your plumbing aisle with your copper um, coupling and cap. And basically what the thread tape does, it actually doesn't feel like tape at all. It feels almost like silk or really, really thin paper. Um, this prevents your uh, coupling from sliding in and out of the jar uh, or the glass bottle. That way you don't lose it in the bottle, okay? And the last thing you're going to need are tiki torch wicks. So together to make about five of these, it cost me, I think $20. So $20 to make five tiki torches. If you have pretty bottles that you don't want to throw away or recycle, you can turn them into beautiful tiki torches. So let's begin. I'll show you guys how this works. So first things first, you're going to want to take your coupling. You're going to want to put it in your bottle and see if you have any space. So right now this fits perfectly. So the um, width of my bottle is exactly a half inch. So it's not going anywhere. I'm not concerned that I'm going to lose it, but I want to prevent it from sliding around and that's where that tape comes in. So we're going to push this off to the side for a second. I'm just going to take the half inch side that's going into the bottle 
and I'm going to wrap it around my hot glue here. And I want to do it on the lower end so you don't see it as much. I'm going to keep it nice and straight. And the issue with this tape is it's not sticky whatsoever, but it will stick to itself, which is strange. So it fits so perfectly in there. I do not need a lot of tape, so I'm not going to go too crazy here. I'm just going to go around once and then I'm going to cut it and do this, just like this. You guys can see it. So I'm just doing the bottom half. This is the part that's going to go in my bottle, like so. And then all I'm going to do, I'm going to take my Tiki Torch Wick, which is approximately 3 8 inch in diameter, <laughs> triple up there, and I'm going to go ahead and put it right on in there, and like that. Perfect. You can go um, maybe a little bit bigger, maybe a little bit smaller, but to be quite honest, the 3 8 works so perfectly that it's really not worth going any different dimension. Um, if your bottle like this one. It's a little bit bigger than the half inch. Just use more tape. Okay, so then all I have to do is stick it right in here and ta-da! I'm all done. But wait, you still need the oil. So, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see this, but my Tiki Torch Wick doesn't go all the way to the bottom. So that's a lot of wasted space and it kind of seems foolish to fill all that up with oil for nothing. So, I'm gonna pop this out nice and easy and I have rocks here or I have cute little gems I'm gonna vouch for a little bit of both so all I'm gonna do is take the rocks if I was slightly smart I would have made a funnel but let's see if we can make one out of this and we can so we'll do this make a little makeshift funnel right here there we go. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put some of these rocks in there. And all this is doing is it's, it's acting as a filler. So I'm not filling up this whole thing with oil when my wick doesn't even reach the bottom of my glass. So you can feel free to put as little or as much rocks as you want. It also looks really cool, especially if you're using clear bottles. Um, so if you have a friend that likes to drink white wine, bother them for their glasses instead of having them recycle them. We're a co-worker. Uh-oh, I got a jam. My funnel's clogged. There we go. Makeshift funnel's working out pretty well. So I'm gonna go a little bit higher with just these plain Jane rocks. Or, um, they're just pebbles. They're very fine grained. Not very much to it. <coughs> Alrighty. So I got a pretty bowl right here. And I'm going to put some of these pretty rocks in there. Because maybe it'll look pretty cool. Who knows? Whoa, wrong way stone. Yeah, so that looks pretty awesome. So, like I said, you can kind of put whatever you want in it. Um, in this one, you can't really tell too, too much, but I put in sea glass and some shells and I can go ahead and take the label off so you can see the sea glass and the shells a little bit better, but whatever you can fit in the neck of this bottle will make it look pretty awesome. So the rocks are just my filler. Sorry guys, that's really loud and obnoxious. Right here. And then go ahead and put your wick in and see if it's kind of close. I'm not even anywhere near it. So I'm going to put a couple more rocks in here. Um, I also have shells that I can add. The only ones that seem to fit are these ones right here. I don't know what these ones are called, but they look really pretty at the bottom. Um, so really, it's entirely up to you what you guys want to put in your bottle. Um, you can also get kind of fancy too. The, um, the Tiki Torch Fuel is clear, so you can go ahead and add some fancy colors to it, add a little bit of food coloring, um, and dye it so that nobody drinks it, because that'd be really bad. Um, 
but hopefully they won't do that if they see the tiki torch in the back that's on fire. I don't know. Um, so all sorts of cool ideas. You can do this with any bottle that you have. Um, like I said, you can even do it with mason jars. Um, you would just have to purchase a different type of um, coupling or drill a hole in the mason jar cover itself and then maybe glue the coupling in instead. Um, this is just so easy, like there's really nothing to it. You're, you're wrapping wire plumber's tape, if you will, around a coupling that already fits perfectly in your jar and that's only just to prevent it from kind of wiggling around. Um, and then you can get super fancy. You can put a chain around here, again, a plumber's chain. <laughs> um, a toilet chain works really, really well or you can go to a jewelry store and buy a jewelry chain and then just drill a hole in the side of this and then this would hang right here and then you can just put it right back on top. Um, I mean, you might lose these if you don't do that, but I don't have my kids around so the only person that's gonna lose it is me, which is possible. All right, and then the other benefit of this Tiki Torch system is it is bug resistant, so it keeps all the bugs away. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap my shell in there and I have a couple more shells that may or may not fit in there. So I have this one. So close, but it doesn't fit. It's really sad. But like I said, these shells are really cool. And it looks super cool inside. And then if you wanted to, you could take the labels off. Um, but again, I'm keeping the labels because I find that I really like the way that it looks. The label is really cool. It's got lots of colors on it and all that. So there we go. The last and final step is super easy. You're just gonna take your bug fighter tiki torch fuel, or I guess you can make your own, but I don't really know how to do that, so. And you're just gonna fill it up. And here we go. So that's it. Put that up. Put this in. Squish it in there fairly well. And there you have it. You have a fancy tiki torch that's full of some pretty cool shells. And you have this half inch cap that you're going to put on top. And that's it. The only word to the wise that I can think of is when you put the cap on, try not to push down too hard because what may happen is you're going to push your wick down and you won't be able to get it out, especially if it falls all the way to the bottom of the jar, which is again why you want to fill the jar up with some kind of beads or rocks or stones or pebbles or shells if they fit. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to come closer so you guys can see it. So there it is. My stones, my wick. This is my coupling again the half inch side goes in the bottle itself and then you can just take the cap off again you can totally drill a hole in the side of this cap i don't trust myself enough to do that um but you could ask someone to do it for you and then you could wrap a chain around here or the neck of the bottle and then the cap would hang here so you don't lose it but that's pretty much it okay So that's all I have for today. You can do this again with any bottle that you choose. I'll show you guys this one. I think this one came out so cool. So this one is full of sea glass. There's some shells in there. And again, it's got the coupling. I clearly used it last night to make sure it worked. It works phenomenally. Um, the only kicker with this is it's not on a stake, so you can't throw it in the ground but these work great for tabletop or whatever you're interested in um so i hope you all enjoyed this really simple really easy craft i hope you go to the store and get some really cool gemstones fish tank store has all these really cool gemstones by the way um i did all of my shopping at home depot it cost me less than 20 dollars to make five of these and i'm just gonna put them on my patio and when I come outside to eat dinner or lunch or whatever, I can light them and hopefully be bug free. Fingers crossed.
So I hope you enjoyed this craft. I'll see you guys all next week. Until then, have a wonderful week.